Hi grade two, it's Lindsay from the Downtown Library and I'm here to tell you all about some great books that I think you should read this summer. And usually this time of year there would be a whole bunch of children's librarians coming to your school to tell you about the summer reading game and the great books that we've been reading all year. And since we can't do that this year, I made a video for you. Now we will be doing the summer reading game, but it's going to be a little bit different than it has been in the past. So make sure you keep checking our website, sapl.ca, for details about the summer reading game and how you can play this year. The first book I want to tell you about is a graphic novel called Tiger vs. Nightmare by Emily Tetri. Now some grown-ups say that graphic novels aren't real books, and to those grown-ups I say <laughs> Because graphic novels are great books. They're awesome and you should definitely read them. If you don't usually read graphic novels, I think you should give this one a try. It's about a tiger and he has a terrifying nightmare. And it happens every night. He's so scared, he can't sleep, he doesn't know what to do. And eventually he realizes that the only way to get rid of this nightmare is to face it. The second book I want to tell you about is called It's Not Easy Being Mimi, and this is a novel by Linda Davick. It was kind of a silly book. It's about a girl named Mimi and her cat Marvin and a bunch of other kids that all live in a big apartment building. And there's a new boy that moves in. His name is Boris. And Mimi's so excited because she hopes that Boris can become her new BFF. But it turns out that Boris is actually really annoying and he doesn't like any of the same things that Mimi does. But even though they're a lot different, Mimi realizes that it's actually a lot better to be a friend than a bully. Now the last book I want to tell you about is a non-fiction book. That means it's information. And it's called The Cockroach by Elise Gravel. Now cockroaches are pretty gross. But when you read this book, you're going to realize that they're also pretty cool and they can do lots of amazing things. And just because it's a nonfiction book doesn't mean it's boring. It's a really fun book and it's sort of like a mix between a graphic novel and a regular book. So lots of great pictures and fun facts and I think you'll really like it. So those are just three of the books that I would recommend for you. If you stay tuned right to the end of the video, you're going to see a list of more books and where to find them. There might be some that are available just at the library. There might be some that are available online on Libby. And hopefully we'll get more of those online for you so that you don't have to leave the house. Thanks for listening and hopefully we will see you soon at the library. Until then, if you want um, recommendations for more good books to read, you can send us an email at jsapple at sapple.ca, that's J-S-A-P-L at S-A-P-L dot C-A. Tell us how old you are, what grade you're in, what you like to read, and we'll come up with a list of books that we think will be great just for you. So until we see each other again, take care, keep washing your hands, and keep reading. Bye.